Okay, we um, like to welcome you to this uh, briefing. Mm. Uh, the permanent mission of Chile is uh, very happy to announce that we're endorsing the World March for Peace, uh, an event that uh, is uh, gathering people all over the world to support uh, peace and nonviolence. Um, we sent you um, an invitation, and there we uh, recall Resolution 61 to 71, International Day of Nonviolence. And one of the provisions of the resolution is to advocate for peace and nonviolence and ask member states to uh, uh, work and promote promoting these initiatives and uh, uh, work on uh, education, uh, forwarding peace and, and nonviolence. Thank you, Belen, and welcome to everybody. I'm very happy to see uh, so many people here today, the delegates, representatives of NGOs and, and others, and to be able to tell you a little bit about this extraordinary project, which, um, in my opinion, is a, is a kind of concrete expression of the, the essence of the UN, which is the idea that countries should be able to resolve conflicts without resorting to war. Um, just recently I heard a, um, a little audio promotion spot for the march which is being done for the Middle East. And this is done in, in uh, Arabic. And, and I was listening to it in New York. <laughs> and the um, what the spot says is that it's time to start listening to the silent people. And from need to ask for the help of the people and humankind to put an end to wars, suffering, and violence. So I found this very touching. And uh, this extraordinary project involves a three-month three-month march, and Raphael will tell you, I'm sure, more of the, of the details of that aspect of it, in order to raise awareness and to give voice to millions of people all over the planet about very, very important themes of the abolition of nuclear weapons, the need to disarm, to lower military tensions, and also to address all of the various types of violence. Seguimos. Sí, seguimos. Pero lo que yo quería es, primero que nada, explicar un poquito el porqué de una marcha mundial. First of all, I would like to explain a little bit about why the World March. Eh, esta marcha mundial surge como respuesta a un aumento de violencia en todos los sectores de la sociedad. It emerges as a, a, res a response to the increase of violence in all sectors and ambits uh, of society. A nivel de relaciones intergubernamentales, intergovernmental relations, pero también a nivel de eh, la vida cotidiana de las personas. Down to the daily life of individuals. Y este fenómeno se da en todos los países y en todas las latitudes del planeta. And this happens in all, all, all countries, in all latitudes of the planet. Estamos en un mundo violento. We're in a violent world. Y tenemos que encontrar nuevos caminos. And we have to find new paths. Nuevos caminos como personas, as people, nuevos caminos como pueblos, as nations, y nuevos caminos también para la humanidad en su conjunto. And for the whole of humanity. La marcha mundial lo que pretende es encontrar nuevas respuestas. The World March is trying to find new responses. Resaltando que lo que hasta ahora ha sido el concepto de paz, tenemos que replantearnoslo going beyond what we have as now the concept of peace and repositioning it. Tenemos que profundizar en qué significa la paz. We have to go deeper into what does it mean to have peace. No es posible que los gobiernos, por ejemplo, hablen de paz. It's not possible that governments speak of peace. Y al mismo tiempo tienen las fábricas de armamento a pleno funcionamiento. And at the same time have weapons factories in full production. No es posible hablar de paz y que se esté invadiendo países. It's not possible to speak of peace when countries are being invaded. No es posible que diariamente se invierta 3 mil millones de dólares en armamento. It's not possible to spend 3,000 uh, 3, million dollars in armaments. Y que hoy 165 mil personas mueran por efecto del hambre. 
and today 165,000 people dying through, uh, through the effects of hunger. La guerra mundial se está convirtiendo en un fenómeno multiplicativo y simultáneo en todo el mundo. The world march is becoming a, multipl a multiplying phenomenon and simultaneous in uh, all around the world. Y tenemos claros indicadores de que vamos en esa dirección, de que la marcha se convierta en la marcha más grande que se ha realizado y que eh, se ha manifestado en la historia humana. And we are receiving clear indications that we're going in the direction of putting together the largest march that has ever been, uh, been put together in the history of humanity.